Hunter is under investigation by the DOJ for tax fraud, money laundering, and violation of lobbying laws. Prosecutor David Weiss for months has been weighing if there is sufficient evidence for the grand jury to indict him on four reported charges. People familiar with the matter told The Washington Post on Wednesday the culmination of a four-year investigation is nearing the end of his decision-making process, although they offered no specific timetable. The case appeared to quietly stall until an IRS whistleblower alleged in April the improper politicization of a tax probe into the president's son. Attorney General Merrick Garland, who appointed Weiss, dismissed those claims Tuesday, even as he refuses to appoint a special counsel to place a degree of separation between the probe and President Joe Biden. The tax probe into Hunter Biden could implicate President Joe Biden. A witness who testified before the jury was reportedly asked to identify the big guy. The leak to the Post comes after Hunter Biden's lawyers met with Weiss last week to discuss the investigation. It was unknown what the meeting's outcome was. Typically, that sort of meeting, in which defense lawyers urge prosecutors not to seek an indictment of their client or to seek reduced charges, comes toward the end of an investigation, the Post reported. If charges are recommended by Weiss, Garland would have to authorize the charges. Garland has vowed Weiss has the autonomy to recommend changes, despite IRS agent claims that Garland misled Congress about the probe's autonomy. I stand by my testimony, Garland defended his testimony Tuesday. And I refer you to the U.S. attorney from the District of Delaware who is in charge of this case and capable of making any decisions he feels is appropriate.